Welcome back to Craig's Custom Cooking. Tonight, I'm going to make venison chili. Pure venison, there's nothing else added, just venison and all the ingredients. Come with me, and I'm going to show you how I do it. All right, so right now, in my pan, I have two pounds of pure venison burger that I browned up. I'm going to add my red onions. Now, I bought these. I'm not going to lie to you. I did not chop them up. I just bought them at the supermarket. My ha my venison, ground venison, browned up. I got the onions translucent in here. So now I'm going to add the tomato paste. So we're going to add one can of tomato paste. All right, now I'm going to add one can Aroma tomatoes in here. I'm just going to add that too. We're going to start stirring all this stuff in. Add something, you stir it. We want to get the tomato paste all mixed in here. We want to get the tomatoes all mixed in here. I'm also going to add one can of tomato sauce. Gonna get that in here. We're going to mix that around. Now, I'm going to add three tablespoons of Ken Rollins Mesquite Seasoning. It says three to four. I'm going to add three. I can always add more later if I have to. I'm just going to add the four. Let me put the four in and be done with it. Now we're going to mix this in. I'm going to bring it up to a higher temperature, probably uh, medium. And I'm going to start heating this up. And then the remaining ingredients we're going to add, let me get those ready. Then we'll put them in. All right, so now I'm going to add the, less, the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to add one teaspoon of coca powder. I'm going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon. I'm going to add one cup or three quarters of a cup of a light beer. We're going to mix that all in because we want to get all these ingredients mixed in really well. Now to this. We're going to add two cans of kidney beans that have been drained in the sink. Now we're going to mix this all in real good. All right, the last thing we're going to add is four tablespoons of chili powder. We're going to stir this in. I think I'm going to add one and a half cups of water. I'm not going to add the beef broth to this because I don't, I don't think it needs beef broth. There's one cup of water. And there's a half a cup of water. 
I'm just going to add water to this. I'm not going to add beef broth, vegetable broth, anything like that. Everything we need, all the flavors we need are in here. The only thing I'm going to add, I'm going to add black pepper. I like pepper in everything that I eat. I'm going to add some black pepper in here. That's about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. We're just going to stir this in. And that's our chili con carne. Venison chili con carne. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this to my back burner. Actually, I'm going to put it on this back burner. And I'm just going to let it cook for about three or four hours and simmer. So all the seasonings and spices get mixed together inside. And then I'll bring you back when we sit down at the table. I think... If I'm not mistaken, my neighbors are going to come over tonight, have supper with us. I'm going to try to record that for the very first time. Every time I've tried to record it in the past, it hasn't worked out real great. So either I get up preoccupied doing something else or something happens and I never get to record it. I'm going to try to record it tonight so you guys can see my neighbors, meet them. And see how they like my food. So we'll see you then. So welcome to our table. I have our friends, my neighbors over. This is Tom, Melissa, Hello. and Claire. And they're going to try my venison chili. They did bring some cornbread and a pasta salad. So we're going to give it a try. So come along with us. Why don't you pass me bowls? I'll just okay. dip it for you. All right. How much do you want, Craig? Um, one or two scoops. Okay. Oh, this looks so good. I'm so excited to try. How long did it take you to make? Um, it a... Three hours. Wow. I mean, it, you can let it cook all day. Only get three cups. Okay. It only took like you know, three wow. hours complete. Well. Beautiful. Three hours includes all the cooking time. So it's, really good. it's good. Yeah. Sunny likes a lot of spice. Does she? No. No. She no. She, that's weird for her. <laughs> what is her uh, favorite thing to eat? Well, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna contradict myself because <laughs> she loves Indian food. Ooh, nice. Yeah. And we'll go to an Indian restaurant, and she'll eat a goat stew mm -hmm. it's so spicy she'll have sweat running mm -hmm. down her face mm -hmm. but she keeps eating it over and over and but <laughs> when i cook here if it's too spicy she can't take it so i i don't understand it depends on the situation yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. that tells me you might like it because you're eating so oh, much yeah it's that three delicious, delicious. Yeah. I, usually I put four tablespoons of chili powder yeah. in it, which I normally. There you go, Tom. I, I was going to say. I think it called for four teaspoons, and I put four tablespoons. That is going yeah. to definitely keep me warm on a cold day. <laughs> exactly. Shall we say like three to four? I might oh. have to wet my whistle. Well, it's a little bit. She calls for three to four tablespoons of Kent Rowland's chili seasoning. Well, that's what You're I put right. in right. Not teaspoons. Yeah. See, the thing is, usually I don't like spicy stuff, but this is like, it is spicy, but I like it. Mm. Like, usually I just don't like spicy things. But it's, this not is a, good. it's not a reach out and slap you in the face spice. Exactly. It's, uh, it's not that. It's it good. It gets you in the back of the throat. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's good. I love it. I made an accident making chili one night. I switched from, I accidentally didn't put the chili in, but I put a little day in instead. So, the only way we do it? No, I'm told it. It was good. Yeah. It turned out good. Only way we do it. A little different. Now. That's how my friends remember you, because you told them that once. Did I make it for them? Did they eat it? Did they like it? Or not? I, I mean, think it's, it's just a variation. I know it. Bobby liked it. She is. Hello! Hello. How are Hi, you? Hi, Sunday! Hello. Good to see Hi you. there. How's it going? Yeah, it's good. Long time no see. Oh, hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey.
I make a I make a sweet tea like a southern mm. sweet tea. It's delicious. Oh, I, love it. I just like a sweet tea. Oh, I do too. After I have a good drill and treat my water, I may just take that sweet tea. Oh, yeah. I can oh, scoot over this way for you. Well, it's really, really wonderful, Julie. Oh, that's Thank good. you so much for having us oh, over on a cold winter night. Did you guys bring this too? Melissa and Claire. Oh, we made a cornbread. It's called right. It's Crusties is the brand. Oh, okay. The salad. Oh, the salad I made. It's my tea meat. Pasta salad. Okay. A little okay. too much onion. No. No, you like the belly. Oh, that's last year's that's trip. Really that and there's a picture of Elvis. Oh, 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 yeah. We started watching the Elvis movie. <laughs> it was on Netflix. Oh, Did you see it's it? Called Austin? Um, it's it's Elvis and it was Austin Butler. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Oh, I got so it was so sad. I couldn't. I told them I don't think I can watch it anymore. It was so sad. Yeah. I just, I got so sad, and as a mother looking at that mm -hmm. child of hers, I just thought, oh, I just can't bear to watch it. The rest of it. It's really good. It's a little bit spicy. <laughs> I said, you think it was spicy. It has cocoa in it. Cocoa and cinnamon? Mm -hmm. My mother had cinnamon in her spaghetti recipe, which was from a real Italian man. Mm -hmm. So it was um, a real Italian recipe. My father worked with a man named Al Canada from Italy, and that's what she got her. Spaghetti recipe and it has some cinnamon and it had a little bit of sugar in it. Tom doesn't like sugar in his meat. <laughs> right, Tom? And Tom doesn't like fruit in his meat, I found out. I made a recipe for him. Have you ever heard of the um the Pirate's House in Savannah, Georgia? No. Oh, oh, oh boy, it's a good restaurant. I actually have their cookbook. You might be interested in seeing some of those recipes. When I find it, <laughs> I'll show it to you. Um, my niece now lives like 10 minutes away from there in Savannah. It's a, you've been to Savannah, though. Did you hear yeah, the Oh, you didn't hear about the Pirate's House, though? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not as popular as I think. Really? <laughs> if you <laughs> ever go back to Savannah, you might want to try it. It's really good. Mm. I've had five scoops of chili. Should I quit or keep on? <laughs> it's delicious. Well, you, there's more left, isn't there? It's very good. Ooh, There's your I'm, answer. I'm going to tell you what. That's some good stuff. It's amazing. This is... mm. And the good thing is, it's all venison. There There's nothing go. else in it. I might have to, um, delicious. I might have to, when I go back to school, make some chili. That sounds like a good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. meal prep idea. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm right there. I'm going to take a picture. The only thing is, is I, take out the, mm -hmm. I take out the two do you like first, first chilies. You but uh, if you like it yeah. spicy, do you like you syrup? Do you want syrup on your corks? No, I don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Very delicious. Oh, Sunny, the first, the first scoop mm -hmm. tastes a little spicy, but by yeah. the time you get to your fifth one, you don't notice it. Yeah, it has a beer in it. Can I do more cornbread? Yeah. Oh, it's the spice. Ah. Ooh, that's so, the Ken has, Rollins spice. He's got quite the mustache going on. Yeah, he's, he's, a, a he's an what extremely, extremely good cook. Yeah. Oh, it's not a bicycle mustache. Yeah, he looks like a cowboy. Yeah. He is. And he's ah, a really good cook. He cooks out, out of the back of a cowboy cow. He, he cooks out of the back of a chuck wagon. Oh, wow. That's oh. really cool. Ken Rollins, is that his name? Yeah. He doesn't cook in a in a house. He cooks out of the back of a chuck wagon. Wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Amazing. Maybe I should start trying that. Cooking out of a got I got two of his different spices. One's the original, one's a mesquite. So cute. Very, very good. Spice. See, I like their spices mm -hmm. because there's not a lot of salt in them. They don't oh, add a oh, bunch nice. of salt. Oh, it's all good. like seasoned. Oh, now, okay. his, that's another reason why this is probably a little spicy because he likes like habanero chilies and. So I don't know what all's in that. Scene, yeah, I can't read but. those peas. And the other night, my friends came over, mm -hmm. and um, my I have a little tiny kitchen that area downstairs that we were cooking in. We actually were using so many oh. kitchen appliances, we um, the circuit blue. Yeah, blue circuit. Um, mm -hmm. But we, my my friend really wanted to try out a pomegranate salad recipe, so we put um, ground venison in and pomegranate and kale oh, and um, oh, walnuts and then he had like a, a, a dressing that was 
lemon and cream and garlic. And it was really good. It was delicious. So I have to, I might, well, I'm debating actually running up to Safeway tonight because I, I made a Walmart order with all the ingredients so I could make it again. And the one thing they didn't add, I guess, because they ran out of was the pomegranate, which is the <laughs> essential you, part of it. The <laughs> pomegranate <laughs> juice? Or? Just the, like the fruot as a whole. Oh, so you can like buy a pomegranate down. up at Safeway? They have, How is it do they have, I don't, do they have pomegranates? Or they, they do. I was there today. I'm trying to recall whether I saw the pomegranate. No, they had the pomegranate too. We got all of our ingredients at H Mart, so I got to see because I know that you were saying that you have gone there before and you mm -hmm. made a good selection. Oh, H Mart! <laughs> extremely. If you're going to go to a Mart, H Mart's your best. They have a really good selection Ooh. of stuff there. If well, spicy. <laughs> if Safeway doesn't have it, probably Giant's your next best. Yeah. <laughs> Out on the, out on the main, oh, the circle. I might have. To, I haven't tried that giant before, so I might have to give it's it. A, a it's a nice giant. And the yeah. thing is, they got a parking garage, so you're yeah. you're parked yeah. off the street. You don't yeah. have to worry about anything. I might have to give that a go because do they do? Just out of curiosity, do they do online pickup? I think they do. Yeah. Okay, it's that's nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah, they got like five spots up front. You order it, and I see people sitting there all the time. They're waiting for it oh, to bring their groceries. Maybe. Could look up giant and then go under the fruit and get a pomegranate. Well, yeah, I was going to see if you can get a curbside pomegranate. I actually, I was thinking, I know on, um, they do some, like, I know that giant does certain, like, different days of the week. They have different deals on certain types of things. And I know mm -hmm. Wednesdays, one of them, there's something that happens there on Wednesdays that my roommate mm -hmm. in Richmond said that she loves going to giant for. And I don't remember what the deal was, but... Maybe I should go on Wednesday for it and <laughs> see know, what it is and then check if you were amazing. All right, everybody, we're going to finish up our meal. Mm -hmm. So this is Tom, Claire, Melissa. Uh -huh. My wife finally showed up. <laughs> yeah. So she's eating it too. Mm -hmm. So delicious. tell everybody what you thought. Mm. It is so good. I hated to do it, but I had to eat five different scoops of that stuff. <laughs> okay. It was wonderful. Good. I love all the seasoning. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Ooh, definitely uh, what you want to do on a cold winter night. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So I, I will sleep well. <laughs> it was really good. I, I loved well, it. I will sleep well. I mean, listen, not, but I will. <laughs> yeah, I love that too. I love it too. It's just a little bit spicy to me. But I still love it. Well, it's like I say, after the fifth one, you don't notice. Yeah, your tongue getting numb, right? <laughs> it's like, you know, the hot pot when you go to the end that has the spicy stuff there. Mm -hmm. By the time you spend a little time down there, yeah. you're numb. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. So if you like the channel, please subscribe. Hit the like button and the bell for future notifications. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.